In January 2018, Telstra have released the new Tough Max 2, which is basically a rebadged ZTE phone. Well, the model number of this one's ZTE T85 to replace the T84. Now it's coming out release, or it's getting released with a Snapdragon processor, a 435, 3 gig of RAM, 32 gig of storage, fingerprint reader, high megapixel camera, all the usual stuff. But as the first site I had loaded up was mentioning, it has it for $435 retail. Now I definitely know of some other model of phones like this one here, which competes with that quite well nearly the identical specifications if not a little bit superior. One big disappointment though was with this model is if you were needing to run an external aerial you would not be able to do this on this model. But overall hardware wise this is identical basically to the Telstra Tough Max 2. As you can see this is just a quick little play around. I would have opened it up but my T3 screwdriver is currently not too healthy and it will just end up stripping the screws. So inside here we just have the usual micro SD card and SIM slot which it doesn't look to be a two-in-one design where you can have two SIMs or whatever configuration you would like. On the back here fingerprint scanner and we've got the RF antenna on here which is one useful thing if you need it especially if you're traveling in mountains and whatnot and it still contains all the usual button locations same as the Tough Max 1 still retain the headphone jack on there too the charger port as well is on the same location the bottom left hand side so to keep it the same as the Tough Max 1 and going into settings on the device well slowly going into settings anyway it's running Android 7.12 which is all good it's also security patched up to 1st of September one thing I did find slightly odd is the location and the size of the physical buttons I actually even though I like physical buttons, I definitely prefer the on-screen buttons. So one of the other biggest things is being a tough phone, which by the amount of Max 1s that I've been repairing, I don't see this Max 2 being any different. It feels less rubbery on the sides and just solid plastic, so we'll see how these go.